Yo, what's going on guys? Crypto Kid here coming at you again with another video guest. Today, we are going to be talking about XRP. Do I believe it's a good investment right now? What is my personal investing strategy about XRP right now? How am I putting money into it? How much am I holding? Let's get right into it. We're going to be taking a little bit of a break from Chainlink and Tezos for today. We'll see you about tomorrow. XRP currently sits at number four in terms of market cap, although Tether doesn't really count because it's a stable coin. So we can say number three at around $8.6 billion dollars. Kind of crazy, 19.4247 cents. Let's go ahead and check out how it's doing on the daily chart. So as we said, it's sitting at like 19.4 cents. It's down 1.6% on the day, down almost 6% on the week, and only up like 1% on the month. On the yearly, guys, it has taken quite a bit of a hit. Um, I actually came in a little over a year ago at like 45 cents or something, so... Speaking from experience, guys, XRP has not been the best the past year and a half, I must admit. Um, but this could change pretty soon. I'm going to be talking about it right now. So just right off the bat, guys, not financial advice. Don't invest based off of anything I say or do. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my personal opinion. We're just having a chat, basically, you and I, just talking about some cryptocurrency. So anyways, do I believe XRP is a good investment right now? I'm going to answer this kind of vaguely. I know it's not what you guys are looking for, but I'm going to say somewhat. Uh, and I say that because that kind of depends if you're a short-term or long-term investor. Um, I think in the short term, no, XRP is not a good investment because you can invest in something much better. You see, XRP has a very large market cap. So for XRP to really go up a ton, it's going to take quite a bit of money. Now, I think that that money could end up coming into XRP eventually, which is why I say it's a really good long-term investment compared to some of these other crap coins that are basically going to die out. Um, but just in, just in terms of short term, I don't think that XRP is going to basically like take over the financial system anytime soon. It's probably going to be minimum two years, and I'd be shocked if it only took two years, um, but it's probably going to be longer than that. So I think the best strategy, or not I think, I know that the best strategy, in my opinion, is to go on uh, and try to find these coins that are a little undervalued right now um, and that are kind of hot and people are, are investing a ton into them, kind of like Chainlink. If you guys got to get in on Chainlink, that'd be a nice little buy-in. Um, it might be a little too late for that. I think it can go a little higher. Um, but coins like Chainlink and let's say Tezos, I always talk about Tezos, are ones that you can kind of come in on now get some solid gains over the next year or two, probably a little better than XRP's gains, and then you can go ahead and pour that money into XRP after the fact if that's what you're looking to do. Because um, why would you pour into XRP, have XRP go up maybe, let's say, $4 billion in market cap, but then have a coin like Tezos go up $2 million in market cap, and you end up doubling your money with Tezos versus only going up 50% in XRP, um, and then you're also kind of sticking with Tezos. That's kind of a bad example because Tezos already has a high market cap, but just any other coin, guys. Like like basic attention token, for example, I think is going to be a really well-performing coin over the next uh, year or two but because that's really seen some real-world utility. But I digress. Anyways, XRP, guys, this is kind of like it makes it or it doesn't, but if it does, guys, it's going to be massive, massive, massive. So because of that reason, guys, and because we don't really know the time frame for when it's going to take off, I think that the best idea is just to kind of allocate a certain amount of your, let's let's say you invest $100 a week. I think what's best is just to put in around like 20 to $30 into XRP, or let's say 20 to 30% of your total investment into cryptocurrency into XRP each week or each month, depending on how you invest. Um, and then just kind of letting it sit, knowing that it's probably not gonna be the best performing part of your portfolio, but that you're also kind of safe. And then with the other basically like 70 or 80%, I'd put that into kind of the hot coins right now, like Chainlink, like Tezos, like basic attention token that could be making some moves. And then as they'll start to make moves, maybe take, let's say like 50% of that money and start uh, pulling it into XRP. I would keep a little bit out of XRP because you want to be diversified always. Even after all this stuff is said and done, you still want to have some of the other coins because there, there can be a lot more winners in the cryptocurrency market than just XRP. Um, so always keep some extra coins. But yeah, like I said uh, earlier, the best strategy right now is just to get a little bit of your XRP and get a nice bag going, keep adding to it every now and then, dollar cost averaging, but then invest in some of these hot coins with high potential so that you can go ahead and take that money after the fact and pour it back into XRP if you choose to do so. 
Um, and that way, if XRP were to, let's just say, somehow all this stuff has been going on behind the scenes, um, and let's say Bank of America is going to roll out XRP tomorrow, you already have that bag, guys. You know you're going to succeed, um, but it's very likely that that does not happen. So in that case, guys, you've been investing in these other currencies this whole time. You're going to be seeing those big gains, and then you can go ahead and be ready for when XRP ultimately does end up taking over in a few years from now. Um, hopefully that ends up happening. And if it doesn't, guys, in XRP, let's just say something goes really wrong with it. I don't foresee that happening, but let's just say for the fun of it, something did go wrong with it. Guess what? You got a whole lot of these other coins um, and you can end up making some crazy money in cryptocurrency because we all know some of these coins are going to work. We don't know which ones yet. So that's just kind of where I stand with XRP. I do truly love XRP. It's my favorite cryptocurrency for sure. That being said, it is one of my lower bags at the moment. Um, and that's because I've had a lot of experience trading it. And I just know that there's a lot of different currencies um, out there that are going to do, be doing a lot better. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't start making money in cryptocurrency until I stopped investing in XRP and started investing in other ones. That being said, I think if you want to get that life-changing wealth, XRP is one of the few coins that will hopefully help you get there. So if you guys stuck around, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next, what you think of this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.